yeah. Big time. So far, I have zero people watching us, so we'll see. They'll show up in a minute. Okay, now, I have you logged in. It says, waiting for Steven's unique antique. So, it, I'm just on a delay. Uh, I have no idea. It says there are six people waiting. They shouldn't be, because I got eight people watching. You may just have to click the, what are you doing, trying to watch our stream? Yes. Okay, so, yeah, yeah you just had to click out and click back in. Let me refresh and see what happens. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Six Ring Circus. Six Rings. That's it. How is everybody tonight? I know how I am. Light mustard. Okay, is anybody commenting? Because I'm not seeing anything. I haven't seen anything yet. But that don't mean that nobody has. That's true. Somebody say hello. Jeremy Cook. Hello, everyone. There we go. Now we got a... Jeremy, uh, Jeremy is making some lovely Pepsi Cola logos <laughs> that look like coasters. Jerry, I'm looking down instead of up. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Sherry. Is he making these out of actual Coca-Cola? He is making them out of... Hey, that would be funny, making Pepsi logos out of Coca-Cola. That would be great. No, he, he's, <laughs> he's like, you're going to get me in trouble. No, he's using Frit. When the room gets full, I have a Pepsi-Cola versus coca cola story. Oh, boy. Yeah. That'll be fun. From... from oh. back in the olden times. Yeah. Well, perhaps we should go ahead and get all the pleasantries out of the way. Hey, Janice, how you doing, babe? Appreciate you staying out past your bedtime. <laughs> uh, yes. Hey, everybody. I, I'm going to know some of you that are in the room. Some of you I'm not going to know, which is why Stephen is here. Uh, the original glass gangster. I think we need to make him make that his uh, nickname. There we go. <laughs> But uh, as we are waiting for folks to get in the room and get set up, we'll do a little bit of housekeeping. This is going to be a straight sale format. Items will be put up for sale. They will be at a specific price. We're going to go with whatever want shows up first on Steven's laptop. He is doing the guard keeping for the sale tonight which frees me up to show more merchandise and offer it to you to purchase. Yep. The so, Eric Weber show featuring Stephen Embry tonight. Right. Selling with Stephen. <laughs> the Six Ring Circus. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you're all familiar with, there always is a little bit of a delay. Your device is always going to show you as the first respondent because it is your device. You get the signal instantly. Uh, everybody else has got to go through the system. So if there is something you really want, we will do. Well, Stephen, let me ask you, what is, how do you normally uh, count down to when people can express their desire for a piece? I mean, you're doing, are you doing a first want sale? Uh, so yeah. Let's say I put up object A, I will describe object A, and then I will say object A is XYZ dollars. I will put it in the chat that it is XYZ dollars and the first one under XYZ dollars will be the one that wins. Okay, so I don't need to do a countdown and say place your wants. I just want to make sure you and I are both. Yep. Okay. We're I will tell people that I'm going to announce the price. They have to wait until the price shows up in the chat. Yep. Understanding you correctly? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, hey, Dirt Road Memories. That's Miss Geneva. I know. Nice to see you. She, uh, that's uh, some people we get to say their incognito name. Some people I don't tell <laughs> everyone. No. It's whoever wants to know. Hey, Melinda. Well, it's, oh, hello. I know Melinda. Uh, it's interesting for me when people don't realize that I don't know them. And <laughs> They don't email me with their Facebook name. 
And then I have to email them back and say, I'm very sorry. <laughs> yeah. I had. I don't know what's going on, which is kind of the story of my life. I hear. All Any, right. Anyway. We need to do a few more things. So, everybody, I'm not selling tonight. We're going to let Eric show you all of his wonderful glass that he's been making and uh, all the things that he has had his friends make in the studio that he goes and participates at. Uh, he ships from the Mouse House, Orlando, Florida. So, um, that's where he'll be shipping from. You need to email his email there tonight. Uh, and he wants your PayPal address, PayPal email. Or, or Square, if you use, I prefer to use Square, but I will do PayPal. Oh, that's right. That's all right. No worries, no worries. So let me, you tell this part then. <laughs> Square is a much better company for all involved. You get all the same protections, the same processing. The difference on the seller end is it's a little bit better commission rate for us. We don't have to pay so much to the mother company. And Square does not put any type of restrictions on people with a selling account that they do for people that just use PayPal to purchase. Uh, PayPal is the OG. They were the original one out there, but there are some very good, reputable companies that are also providing the same service, service and doing it in a much more modern way. With Square, if you do not have an account, you don't have to set yourself up with an account. You'll get an email from me stating that you've made a purchase and this is the total and you click on pay with credit card or pay with account. And if you have a Square account, then you would log in as yourself. Uh, it's very simple, but no stress, no worries. If you prefer PayPal or you only have PayPal, I'm happy to do it. All right. Perfect. All right. So again, he is shipping from Orlando, Florida. So. For all my friends that are in Colorado and uh, let's see, I've got a couple in California, Las Vegas. It's going to cost you a little bit more tonight. But the good news is a lot of what Eric's got to offer you is small. And so it shouldn't just kill you to death on shipping. And I'm very good at packing it most of the time. Don't yell at me, Becky. Uh, we had it. We had a disaster shipment to Miss Becky that I'm still embarrassed about. Anyway, in terms of shipping, I can combine items where it makes sense. If things do need to go in multiple boxes, I will let you know. But I use Pirate Ship, and I have learned from comparing two boxes to one large box, it ends up being within a dollar of what the shipping cost would be. Uh, so don't don't be alarmed if you purchase things and they have to go in two separate boxes. Oh, Heather, that is so sweet. Thank you so much for following me. I favorite, appreciate it so much. Favorite YouTube video. Well, and, we got a competition now. I want Heather. Well, you can be Heather B's favorite Fenton person. That's what I just want to beat out John Walk so bad I can't stand it. I can uh, everything. <laughs> so, uh, I will be on Becky's channel tomorrow night, Vintage Viking Treasures. Cool. And on walk will be live with me tomorrow night on her channel. He's coming to restock his booth in my shop. And so he will be with me tomorrow night. Fine. Well, you are a busy beaver. Surprise, Shawty. I'm not going out. My wife didn't know it was happening. All right. So let's get this party started, Eric. How about it? Let me flip us over and turn the camera away from me, which is much more pleasant. Give me one moment here. And boom. Yeah, here, we'll, we'll let him get his, oh, look at that. He's so quick. I've learned the technology. The technology. <laughs> All right, we're going to first, I'm going to kind of give you a walkthrough of the studio. As you can see, we have a ton of glass. Not all of it is going to be uh, offered and sold tonight. But there's my favorite swung base. That's one of my pieces. 23 inches tall, that swung base. We're going to be talking about that a little bit later. 
Uh, but as you can see, we have ornaments, we have pumpkins, we have vases, there are uh, bowls that we make. These are Justin's famous wave. Those are my, my favorite. Table display, yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, as we come over here, I've got a special for Easter. Pink chicken basket toothpick holders. Uh, we've got pen holders, we have starfish. Uh, we have a few pulled flowers. They have proved to be, be very popular. We are almost sold out of pulled flowers, so we need to make more. Uh, here are some more art vases that have been made in the studio, including my favorite right there, which we will spend some time with. Uh, again, I need to walk around the table. We also have rondelles. If you're not familiar with a rondelle, they are uh, hand blown. The artist will create uh, basically the same shape as for a bowl, but they get it very hot in the glory hole and spin it out till it is almost completely flat. And they open up like a gigantic flower. Uh, we're gonna be offering some of those this evening. We've got some specialty sushi plates that I have made, and Dennis has some of his snail friends. Those are all handmade. We've got a large, several large uh, iridized bowls. We've got some chickens down here, some more starfish. I don't know how much we're going to get to. As you can see, this is a lot. Uh, Justin also makes these beautiful conch shells. We've got one or two that were made by Dennis in our studio. And again, we're going to finish up over here with some more pumpkins and some more ornaments. And there we go. So I hope that gives everybody a good idea of what we're going to be doing today. So how about we get started? All right. All right. We are going to talk about something that is brand new for me. Uh, I was able to purchase from the original glass artist these uh, plaque molds. This is a fused glass. It is a single sheet of glass that is laid over a ceramic or bisque form. And then the piece is heated and the glass melts down to pick up the shape of the piece. And you can either display them on a stand, as I'm showing here, or I do have some with holes drilled in them, and you can hang them in your window. Uh, this particular piece is a beautiful heron on the beach. You will find most of the things I have are going to be tropical or oceanic. There's a beautiful dragonfly here. Uh, the stands that you're looking at are solid walnut. And let me show you one more. Here's a sample special piece I made. These are hearts that I make and sell. Uh, the hearts are made out of a pale blue glass and they're on a dark blue water glass background. Uh, I think they look really cool. I've got them on a stand so you could have those on your desk. You could turn them sideways if you wanted to or vertically. And what we're going to do is start with these first three. Uh, the price on each of these is $25. It includes the stand. So we have uh, A, which would be the four hearts mounted on blue glass. And these are fire fused onto the glass. They're not glued. Uh, everything is, is attached permanently in the kiln. Uh, we have this large, uh, I'm sorry, that's a flamingo. What am I, I'm crazy. It is a flamingo walking on the beach. Uh, this piece is about five by three and a half. The uh, flamingo is five and a half inches across, eight inches tall. And the dragonfly, you can just make out the dragonfly, is a four and a half by four inch square. So you have three choices. Their number, uh, Stephen, for you, they are 101 for the 
Dragonfly 102 for the Flamingo, 103 for the Heart on stand. Again, it will be your choice first. Want gets it, and they are each $25. We're going to wait for Stephen to get that typed in. Stephen, I can't see comments on my phone either, so let me know when you're ready. Okay, Caden. Yeah, Caden's doing it for me tonight, putting in all the stuff. So we've got it listed right now. Right now, Becky's saying hello to everybody. Becky's vintage and more. So go ahead and make your wants. Right. Again, dragonfly, flamingo, or hearts. That's right. And that color is beautiful, that teal color. Where did you get that? Uh, this is actually, let me help this piece up. Uh, this is from Wismock Glass. It's actually a beautiful water-colored blue. And there are beautiful variations in the glass. That is pretty. Uh, interestingly enough, the company that makes this glass is called Wismock, and they are located in Payton City, West Virginia. Wow, Payton City. Payton City. All right, so do we have any interest in these first three display plaques that do come with the solid walnut stand? Nobody has jumped on and said anything yet, but that doesn't mean that they won't after a while. So the night's early. That's it. That is early. All right, we're going to do something. I need to move a piece here. We have a crane, and it is available in two colors. Boy, this is fun doing this single-handed. Hold on. I know the image is terrible. Hold on. Just don't break it. All right, we are back. Uh, you can tell a little bit better with the uh, green since it's on such a light background. This is a um, heron on the beach. This is a beautiful, light, almost an emerald green color. Again, we're looking at five and a half by about seven and a half. We also have the exact same piece in pale blue. The design is much deeper than you can see uh, by taking a picture straight on. You can see with this side view, there really is a good impression in the glass. They do well in a window or they would do well displayed someplace where they could be lighted from the front or backlit. Uh, these, again, are going to be $25 your choice. We have green or blue heron. And as soon as Caden gets the price up, you can make your claim. Hey, hey, just a second. $25 as well? $25 each, yes. And that is the stand and the plaque these would look really great for people that do um stained glass imagine using this as your centerpiece and then mm -hmm. working around it mm, not yet you could make a really pretty piece all righty any any interest at this point we will come back to them i know the night is young not yet there's not but i'm responding to heather needing to know about what to do this is her first um first sale with me tonight so i'm oh, responding to her right quick well welcome welcome while you're doing that i'm going to move on to the next item uh, to the description all righty uh, we have something just in time for Easter. We have a lovely toothpick holder. Oh, he's got a factor. We have a lovely toothpick holder. It is a basket and chick. Uh, I've not gotten confirmation on these yet, but I, I believe based on the design of these and the handle, I think this is an old Westmoreland mold. These particular pieces were made by Wilkerson Glass. Uh, Fred Wilkerson owns this mold now. And look, there's one of my very old stickers. 
That is an original. I can turn this the right way. That is an original Emporium sticker. And it's backwards, isn't it? I had to log out and log back in, and I lost my camera setting. And now that we're live, I can't switch it. Uh, but anyway, these I have had these for several years now. Uh, Wilkerson Glass no longer makes pink. It is a very heat-sensitive color. Two, four, six. There are six of these baskets. They are about three inches wide, two and a half inches tall. And we are going to do special pricing to get these out the door because I have had these for a while. These are going to be $8 each. You can claim more than one if you would like more than one. So again, pink toothpick basket. Uh, Becky is asking if that is a orange turtle that she saw when you were zipping by. No. Okay. No, it wasn't Becky. But okay, I've got you listed now with chicks with a basket for eight bucks. Eight bucks. So uh, get your ones. No limit on quantity desired. These would make a great Easter gift. Great. These are like a depression pink. Right, so they're that peachy color? Correct. They are exactly like Depression Era pink. I know they're looking a little orange on camera. It's not the background piece. It's the lighting. Try to just focus on one, maybe, instead of moving, keeping moving around. There you That's it. The handles are a solid piece of glass. It's not open. And you got a little baby chick right there sitting next to the basket. Those are just so stinking cute. They are. They're adorable. And how can you go wrong at $8? I don't think you can. That's what I heard. <laughs> I heard you cannot go wrong. Don't see anybody jumping in on them. But that don't mean that they won't come in a little bit later. That is true. That is true. Let's move on to something big and beautiful, which is this beautiful iridescent ribbed bow. Wow. Yeah, this is the mothership. This is 18 inches wide. Let me pull this out. Ooh, little child, you're making me nervous. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Throw this stuff around all the time. This is 18 inches wide, and you will notice as I zoom in, it has that crackled stretch glass finish. This is Wismach iridized glass, and the way we achieve this stretch pattern is uh, this is called a drape mold. So the design of the piece, uh, the glass was laid face down on the mold, and as it bent and shaped itself into the finished piece, the surface irradiation uh, starts to stretch and give you that beautiful onion skin look. But uh, look at the rainbow iridescence on this bowl. Again, we're looking at about an 18 inch diameter on the bowl. And this is selling for uh, $75. It makes a beautiful centerpiece. Beautiful centerpiece bow. So 18 inch ribbed iridescent bow, $75. And you can see how big it is. Look at my laptop compared to the bow. Any interest in this bow? I 
And again, I rely on Stephen to keep me going. I cannot see the comments. No um, problem. And if you have any questions at any time, please don't hesitate. Let me know. I'm going to zoom in on the iridescence again so you can see. It's just electric. The air it, it is just electrical. Every color you're looking for in iridized glass, you've got the electric blue, purple, yellow, green. It is an amazing piece of glass. So any interest at $75 on the large ribbed bowl? I don't see anybody interested in it. Oh, mercy. All right, hold on a minute while I get this put back. There, see, all back in one piece. Oh, I can show you something fun. These, I just made these. These just came out of the kiln this morning. These are hanging, window hanging pieces. Uh, what I did was take strips that were left over from an iridized glass project, and they are fused onto a piece of clear glass. So when you have these against, let me go up against something lighted. When you're against a lighted surface, you can see there are some spaces in between the glass where you can see through, but they illuminate brilliantly. Uh, these are five by four. It's hard to give perfect exact measurements because all of the glass is hand trimmed. Uh, this one I did with key lime glass. It does not glow, unfortunately. Can you imagine if it did? Uh, but this is a vertical hanging piece. It's three and a half inches wide and five inches tall. And you get that beautiful transparent green. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you can tell by a couple of pieces on here. Can you see the ribbing on the bottom, Stephen? I can. That's awesome. That was a verlise piece that didn't make it. That is from the... Uh, Bowen Drake. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's what's kind of fun with me doing this stuff this way. You can actually start to recognize different patterns in the glass. But I, I thought this would be fun to try out, and I really like the way it turned out. It's got hooks automatically in, set in. Those are fused into the glass, so they are permanent. How much do you want to do for? These are $15 uh, each, so we have blue or key lime. Yeah. You could even make, put them on your Christmas tree at Christmas time and let the light reflect through them through that. Hang them in your kitchen. Hang them around a large dog's neck. No, that probably wouldn't work. But I just thought these were really fun. It was a great way to take what would normally be waste or scrap. I mean, the only other option is to crush it into frit and then use it that way, isn't it? Correct. And with this iridized glass, uh, to do that when it melted, it would not show uh, the iridation. It would get burnt off. excited about those yet but that don't mean they won't and said we have to see all the goodies first it's like going to walmart you got to see everything first then you make your selections all right here is a beautiful iridized blue man in the moon oh wow that is a nine and a half inch disc It's on a metal stand, and the reason why I did that is because the glass is iridized. I imagine it is something that you are going to want to show off on a bookcase or inside the home. It can be displayed in a window, 
but you would lose the iridescent shine with the light coming through in the back. However, you could have daytime and nighttime look. But again, I'm going to come in and show you this beautiful iridized look. And where the figures are, where the glass has moved, you can see you get this wonderful stretched glass effect. How much is this? This, including the stand, is $30. It's a metal adjustable stand. If you want it without the stand, it would be $25. There are even some lovely little stars scattered in the pattern. Eva, she wants it. Got you, babe. Thank you. This is number 109. Number she wants it with the stand. She got it for $30. Okay, hey, excellent. I knew something would kick us off. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Yes. All right. Let's move on to, well, since we did so well with that one, let me show you this one. This one's a little bit different. This is going to drive Stephen crazy because once I tell you what I think it looks like, it cannot be unseen. I'm going to take down the man on the moon, or excuse me. Yeah, the man on the moon and put up this TikTok clock. Now, Steven, tell me this does not look like the one of the clock faces in It's a Small World. <laughs> Going back and forth. Uh, anyway, it's a beautiful, there we go, a beautiful smiling sun. It also reminds me, and I'm telling my age, it looks like the moon from Bear in the, Bear in the Big Blue House. It could be. Uh, <laughs> you know, there is a wonderful decoration of... Or the sign from Teletubbies. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah. Little bumps that almost look like marbles as part of the pattern. This is a 10-inch uh, disc that... I fuse onto this. It's that beautiful light emerald green color. Uh, this piece with the uh, base would be $30. If you want just the sun, it would be $25. And I can drill a hole in the top if you wanted to hang this. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. But again, this, I think, there we go. You can really see the pattern. And this is an original carving. The uh, fusing artists that I mentioned earlier, the uh, wife, Mrs. Wizard, they were the Wizards of Glass. Uh, Mrs. Wizard was a trained artist, and she carved and created her own drape molds, slump molds, fusing molds. And I was able to purchase her almost her entire stock of molds. So the wonderful thing for me is you're not going to see this in 20 different shops. It's only me that can make it. So any interest in the sun slash moon? I don't see anybody yet for this one, but imagine if you did that and use that as your centerpiece for class and oh. had a shooting out from it to make it moon or sun either way. That would be awesome if we, man, we need some crafters in here tonight because they are missing the boat. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Wizard told me that uh, the design, when I was looking at the, the frame, and the, the frame of it was really jagged around the edges. And I said, what happened? I thought maybe part of it broke off. She had originally made this with rays coming out. It was probably six inches wider all the way around. Wow. She had so much trouble selling it as such a large piece that she cut it down. Oh, what a shame, but that's awesome though. Hey, better that she found out it doesn't move than me. Right, that's it. Yeah, cause that would be a big piece. That's hanging over the sofa when you get up to that size. All right, we're gonna move on and I'm gonna do some uh, Fenton inspired things. Oh boy. Yeah, I think so. And we are going to start with a lovely, votive 
in key lime. And what I did to make this is use the Fenton Daisy Fern Optic Mold. And you can see the pattern. And we created a votive. It could be an outdoor votive. Of course, I always recommend using a battery operated candle for safety. I'm sure you can put a votive in, but these are investment art pieces. The other thing I did with the glass is iridize it to create a wonderful silvered finish. So it's very reflective in the daytime. And again, it has that beautiful daisy fern pattern. It's very striking, especially if you like that pattern. That is the piece to buy. Uh, this is priced at $35. It's the only votive I have left. All the rest have sold. Wow, that's awesome. So again, any interest in the votive? Well, I just made it live, so give it just a minute, just in case there's a lag. Oh. Yeah. If you'll tell me the price first, because I can type up the description sure. while we're talking about it, and then that way... It's 35 All right, you got it. It's hand-blown, made from the Fenton Daisy Fern Optic Mold, which I own. Doesn't have any opalescence is the difference. Uh, no opalescence and no, there's no uranium in it. It does not glow. I don't see anybody interested in this one. All right, then let's move along. Because in the same color vein, Ooh. We have the Verlise Butterfly Vase in Key Lime. How much is it, friend? Hold on, let me set this. I was moving the moon. <laughs> it's sold. I want to be extra careful. All right, this is the Verlise Butterfly Vase. You can see beautiful butterflies flying all over the place. It, uh, it's 65, my friend. Uh, the top is done in a traditional manner, and it is polished to a mirror finish. And I'm the one that does that. Uh, traditionally, this is how these vases were made and displayed. Uh, Fenton decided to add their famous ruffle finish. But I wanted to take these back to the original design intent for them. Plus the fact that Fenton had their own individual machines to make all those wonderful crimson ruffles. And they no longer exist. Oh. Yeah, all that stuff went. Here it. So any interest in Key Lime Verlise Butterfly Vase. It is signed on the bottom. I decided to keep the Verlise name. It's hard to see these signatures when you're doing a sale, but they all say Verlise by Emporium. And this was made late last year, so it's dated 2023. As a as a collector, I appreciate you uh, putting on there the differentiations of uh, what's yours, what's old, you know, that sort of thing. So, And once that's scratched in there, it's kind of hard to, it would be very difficult to get that taken out. That's it. All right. What else have you got tonight for us, sir? This will get everybody very excited because... I have exactly one butterfly vase in violet. Oh, wow. Same price? It's the same price. This was done as a sample. We are trying out different violet colors, and I thought that looked just beautiful. Uh, one thing you'll notice with this vase, uh, the same as Dave Fetty, we use print to add color to our pieces. So you will see some marbling and different effects with the coloring. 
uh, we do not have solid color tanks. But again, this was finished with that mirror polish on the top. And this should show the signature. There we go. It's upside down. Let me turn this because the glass is dark. You can see it. It's probably backwards, but it says Verlies by Emporium. And oh. three. So this would be $65. And right right now it is the only one. We don't I don't know if I'm gonna be using that color or not. It's really pretty. I have a feeling I will be. I'm sorry, what's Steve? I don't see anybody interested in that one right yet. Well, gosh darn it all. Let's move over to the other wall. Maybe the other wall is our good luck charm. Uh, because I have one piece so big, I kind of have to stand back to show it. Uh, anyone familiar with Florida knows our lizards? They're, they're kind of a gecko. This is a 12, 12 inch by 7 inch plaque. Withstand $35. But I'm just going to kind of pull back to show you how much bigger that is than the standard uh, plaques. It's a really pretty piece. Again, when I show it from the side, you can see that there is a lot of depth to the piece. We're in here with white walls. It's kind of hard to show how pretty these pieces are. But it is a gecko. $35, including the walnut stand. That's huge. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It fills a space. Becky's ready to see the next one beside it. She's getting anxious. <laughs> this is an ammonite. Oh, that's a Pokemon. It is not a Pokemon. I, I promise you it is. I'm a nerd. I would know. All right. It's a Pokemon. Uh, again, we're using that beautiful green glass. This is a six by seven piece. $25. Really beautiful shell piece. And right next to it, we have Moon and Star. Oh. It's done in the iridized blue glass. $25. Comes with the stand. Let us know which one you want. So either blue moon, green shell, or gecko. The gecko is just crystal, right? Gecko is the gecko. The gecko is crystal. You are correct. And hell, we're all tired tonight. <laughs> Words are hard. Come on, Becky. I know you want the green. <laughs> that wasn't what she was talking about. I don't know if she was talking about it or the moon and star. Um, moon and star is really pretty. Could be. It's cute. It's a lot smaller. That's a, a four and a half by four and a half tile. Told you. That wasn't crazy. And then over here. Here, this is the last plaque I have displayed. Here is an ammonite done in crystal. Wow. Back same piece, you can really notice the pattern on this one. The light's hitting it just right. He doesn't need the shell, but loves the color. Wow, the green. And I don't have much of that either. All right, let's move over to, uh, we're going to make Dennis very happy right now. Oh, boy. Dennis started making snails. 
These are quite large. These are over four inches tall and seven inches long. They're gigantic garden snails. Uh, they're priced at $60 each. I love this one. This is a, a snail no, only a mother could love. It's a little tilted. That was one of his first pieces, but I said, leave it in there. Somebody will want it someday. Uh, so we have pink. We have a metallic blue with a bright neon green base. We have kind of a, uh, not navy, we'll call it kind of a pilgrim blue with, again, that metallic cobalt blue base. Let me show you the top. These are very cute. These are all hand pulled. And then we have a jade green that also has what's called aventuring green and you can see the glittery sparkles in it and that is on a medium blue transparent base uh, again the choice it's your choice they are 65 dollars each so we have jade pilgrim blue metallic blue pink and then uh, regular cobalt uh, i screwed up i I thought you said 60 earlier. Well, we'll take 60. Okay. Uh, Becky's asking if they, any of them glow by chance. Oh, tell Becky I'm booking an airline ticket to come visit her. No, nothing glows. Nothing glows. Nothing glows. There is no more uranium to be had. It was mined in Bulgaria until 1994, and it was so toxic and deadly to the workers that, by law, they stopped mining it. You made Glowy Girl sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Becky sure. said, "Becky said if you want to get a if you want to get a plane ticket, she'll she'll be glad to see you." <laughs> I would be glad to see her too. So how are we doing on these snails? Any interest at 60? I don't see anybody, but my favorite color combination is that one that you said only a mother could love. That cobalt blue and that green. Isn't that cute? That is, I mean, that's one of my favorite color combinations, period. Yeah, it's a mix. I'm not quite sure what he put together for the base, but there is a transparent and an opaque green worked into the body and then straight cobalt on the shell portion it's so pretty yeah it's cute i wish there were a way we could straighten it up but there isn't oh sure heat it <laughs> but i had a change from snail number one to production snail yeah yeah i'm really i'm proud of him and i'm happy for him it's beautiful stuff yeah anybody interested in them right now but uh i do have people that re-watch these live sales and they'll they'll email me and say hey do you still have such and such and i'll say sure everything's available till it's sold that's it uh this is a cute little piece i'm going to show it against the white because it will show you this the color variation oh. this is a single piece of glass it was again it's a wismock color but i just thought it was real pretty now those bubbles that you see i fuse two pieces of glass together to give these some sturdiness uh you're always going to get some kind of bubbling with this glass no matter how hard you try uh, it's part of the process i think it looks really cool this is a six and a half inch shallow bowl and it is fifteen dollars that would be a great soap dish it would or a candy dish or keys when you walk in the front door makes a good catch-all change yes a catch-all that's the technical term <sighs> any interest at 15 shallow bowl Mel melinda says it almost looks like a shark we got imaginations. I see it, Melinda. 
Imaginations are good. All right, we're going to move to that blue that everybody loves. And you can see now on a single piece, you can see the lines that you get with the different variations of color. This is a flower petal bowl. Let me show it to you sideways. You can see it was fused to create a flower petal design. Uh, again, shallow design, perfect for small fruit display, or if you have a collection of small glass items or shells. Uh, we're looking at eight inches on that, and it is $20 on that scalloped edge bowl. That's the word I was looking for. Scalloped. Yes, well, you made me put pedal because that was the word you said, and I thought, oh, boy, he'll know exactly what it is then. You know, that thing. Yeah. I'm going to keep moving along a little bit just so we don't lose people. Uh, this bowl is very special. This is actually a small rondelle. And Dennis made this one when he was figuring out how to make the big ones. You have to learn small and then expand. He gave me this uh, platter and said, do whatever you want with it. So I turned it into a scalloped bowl. And he had used greens, blues, greens and blues. I, was, I thought there was white, but it's the background. Uh, just cobalt and emerald green and a light green. And it was all swirled together by hand. And then I did a drape mold on this. Uh, we had it at 35 It's on sale tonight for $30. And again, this is a handmade art piece. It cannot be replicated. And it can't be duplicated. And not. You could try. I, yeah, I was being a smarty pants and I said, could you twirl it the other way and we could put them together? And he said, no. And he looked at you sideways. Up, oh, Pamela wants it at $30. Excellent. Uh, it's number 120. Item number 120. Got it, sir. All righty. Now we're going to move on to something fun. Check out this ammonite shell plate. It's large enough. I would actually call it a serving platter. It is has the Wismach iridized glass. I'm sorry, I need to move that slower. But you can see the, the carving is very nice on this piece. Talk about an oyster platter. There you go. But it's a beautiful ammonite. Beautiful patterning. Uh, this came out really well. Now this one, you can see the color has, let me zoom in. See how the color looks a little uh, wrinkled? Yeah. That effect is achieved because I put a piece of clear glass that was cut to this shape on top of the iridized glass. So for this particular piece, the iridized glass is the middle layer. So you're actually looking through clear to see the iridized effect. It softens it a little bit but I thought it was very, very pretty. Uh, this is priced at $40. It's me. 40 bucks. I've been that one. Hold on, let me put it down. I'm sorry, what? How big did you say it was? Four, eight, 10 inches wide and about eight, it's about 10 by eight. Wow, what a deal, you guys. I can only make these one at a time. Yeah, you may get to put my name on that. <laughs> Not if somebody beats you to it. Make me to it, they're more than welcome to it, but that's... Do you have any takers at $40? I'm going to wait. It could be Steven. It's number 121 if somebody does take it. Okay. 
I don't, I don't, I don't see anybody beating me to it. So now we move um, to getting better. We're going to move to another ammonite, and this one is done with white carnival glass. Wow. And to add some interest, I added some mica in between the layers to really add to the effect that this is something very old that was discovered. But look at that shine. Again, this is also $40. This one is slightly smaller, but you can see with handmade glass, even with fusing, it's very difficult to cut each piece of glass identically each time, especially when there are two layers because they have to fit exactly. But again, beautiful white carnival. I have down it uh Caden's iPad we're watching it on another one and so it's just now showing the uh the plate so we've got a pretty hefty lag okay I understand so uh it looks like we're caught back up though maybe so please anybody watching if we need to go back to a piece because you were thinking about it let us know yeah please let us know that's gorgeous. I don't see anybody jumping on it, though. All right. The other wonderful piece, and I think oh, I've got some more. Uh, we have a sushi platter. Again, it is, boy, this studio is dusty. It is the Wismac iridized glass. I've been setting this up over the last couple of days, and I think the studio has been busy. Uh, we're looking at nine by five. And this is one I did where the clear glass was put on top of the carnival glass. So you get a different look. Uh, this is priced at $20. Very nice. I mean, and what a great price point for such a nice piece of glass. I'm really proud of you for learning all these new techniques and stuff. You haven't, you've been a busy boy and I've been a busy boy and we've not had much time to talk lately. Yep. And uh, you have improved immensely. I've got another uh, platter down here. This one's a little bit smaller. It's only 15 inches. And this is priced at 55. Again, it is that ribbed bowl and it has the stretch finish oh beautiful 55 dollars 65 or 55 five five oh yeah it's caught up i can see my laptop now and then, surprise, surprise, I have an even smaller one. This is a 12-inch platter. Again, beautiful stretch finish. That beautiful Wismach iridation that shows all those beautiful colors. And we are looking at $50, five zero for the 12-inch. That's where he's hiding. I have something else to show you for everybody that loves this blue glass. I have a blue gecko. Now you can see the pattern. I know I had another one. He didn't make it onto the display of time. So again, we're looking at 7 by 12. It's a large, oversized piece. $35 for the glass and the stand. That's 35, I think is what he said. Yes, 35. 35. Sometimes you break out at just the right amount of important part. 
Isn't that always the way? That is the way. That's so pretty. Yeah, I like to think so. I like to think so. All right, before we get into stuff that everybody's seen before, I'm going to show some more new pieces. Excuse me while I pick them up. Give you a little preview as we walk over to the table. I made some straight up plaques. These oh. are hooks in them. Or I should say this one does not have a hook in it. But look at the marvelous colors. And what I do is go through the scrap pieces that are at the studio. I might take a hammer and break some pieces off. And then it's just a great big giant big jigsaw puzzle and my imagination. I just start picking colors that I think will complement each other and pieces that will fit the design. This is recipe card size. This is three and a half by five. This would be $15. And then I have a really pretty one. I'm proud of this one. It is the same uh, almost the same size glass and these are all from the same uh, piece of glass that didn't make it. I think this was a bowl at one point in time but I was able to salvage out enough pieces to do a plaque that's all one color and I put hooks on it. Uh, this would also be $15. I'll kind of pull out so that you can see. And then this piece I'm really proud of. This is why you're not seeing insects and small butterflies because I have perfected a method for permanently fusing using the kiln. I can fuse these smaller insects onto glass. And I'll put this up so you can see the coloring. There's a lovely light green background. I can drill a hole in this, or I can get you a stand. And this is a, a four inch, I'm sorry, a five inch circle. But I thought it looked really pretty with the dragonflies because it looks like they're flying. So again, whoever buys this, if you want a hole drilled in it, I will drill a hole. If you want a stand, it would just be uh, an additional $5. So 25 as shown, and I can drill a hole in it. If you would like a stand, it would be an additional $5. And these are uh, made with moss or jade. I'm sorry, not moss or jade. These are made with uh, jade glass that we carry at the studio. I bought some of my own. But this matches Mosser glass exactly. And these are the pair of smaller dragonflies that I have. All right. Becky said, Becky's Vintage and More says that she loves the dragonflies. Those are great. And is she taking them? Because I don't know. She's pretty new to my channel. She may not have seen. Uh, so the next time when I bring you all your stuff, we may have to go back and do a OG Eric sale. Yeah, there you go. This is kind of a fun piece. Uh, again, it's just a large circle. There's not a hook in this, but I kind of like how it came out. It almost looks like a turtle's back. Like Caden just said, she said it looks like a turtle shell. I was going to say a lily pad. There you go. Uh fifteen dollars for that now this is if you have heard of dave chihuly this lighter green that you see that is dave chihuly glass uh, we were able to get at the studio frit from his studio wow and this was a failed piece they were making in the studio oh and you want to hear some I just realized why this is here. These pieces right here and right here, those are two of my fish. And this kind of explains the creative process. I 
thought I was going to get this effect where you see the fish swimming, but they completely melted into everything else. I don't understand the question. You said this one, it's the one that he's looking at is the one that has the fish and the turtle, the one that kind of looks like a turtle shell. Yes, there are two. What what you see in the middle, what looks like multicolored something, are t were two fish, and they you can see they just completely melted. But we learn our lesson, and then we learn how to do this. It's all about the temperature. Yeah. It's all about the temperature. I'm going to move on to what I think is a fun bowl. This is a round bowl that I slumped into a square shaper. So it's got square. Oh. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And again, I made this with, here, I made this with the water glass so you can see wonderful transparency and blue. And this piece would be $25. It is a nine inch circle that is draped on a square mold. Again, when I'm creating stuff, if I don't try new things, I never know what they're going to look like. I kind of like the shape, but everybody likes their own thing. There you can see the full effect. And then here it is sideways. You can see it lifts up just a little bit. Uh, this would make a great serving piece. Becky, did you say you wanted the blue piece of the shell? I'm sorry. All right. We can back it up. I have to say, she's, she's topping, and then it, uh, and then another Becky says you do gorgeous pieces, tempting to buy, but she is moving this year and uh, is already paranoid about having to ship her. Uh, the turtle. Okay. She, uh, our Becky wants the turtle shell. All right, make that number 200. 200. And get ready for something wacky. This is a really cool shape uh, mold, but I was playing around with glass and the Dave Chihuly puddles, and I made this. It's very mid-century modern in design. Fairly deep bowl. And then you've got kind of a snake of Chihuly green going up. And I call this the mod bowl. This would be $25 also. I call it an ashtray because it looks like you could use it as an ashtray too with those grooves in it. That would be an awfully big cigarette. It would be a big cigarette. Let's see. Got it. Eric Carl Eric Carl's inchworm. <laughs> Look. Hungry hungry caterpillars. Hungry hungry caterpillars, what it reminds me of. Yes, yes, indeed. So that has Chihuly Fred in it too. That the green uh, puddles, this part here is made from Dave Chihuly Fred. And if you're not familiar with Dave Chihuly, he has colors made for him. Wow. So we were quite lucky, and I just, I just stand in line waiting while they're making something, and I pick, I run over and grab the scraps as quick as I can. Now, if you want to see something funny, I only did this because it was a piece of brown glass, as you can see. And there is this square shape. Tell me that does not look like your father's or your grandfather's ashtray. Oh, yeah. It's mid-century modern magic, $15. All right. But in a $15 ashtray, that is... That looks like you made it out of the old Coca-Cola bottles. Yeah, it just, 
there was one piece of this brownish glass and it was just enough to do this. Because I thought, it, I can't do anything real modern with it. Because it won't work. But I thought this came out cute. And it's a cute shape. This is a really cute shape. I'm going to do things with the shape. That is, that is a cute shape. <laughs> Did we give a price on that? I did 15 bucks. There you go. I don't know what I did. Make it 10. Ten? There aren't too many smoking dishes that you can sell out there. Make it 10 bucks. Because there's no there's no price on it, so uh, all right, we'll edit it down to ten. Alrighty. Here is one of my favorite pieces. Holy macaroni. Now this is a clear glass piece for the base. And then this is all I'm gonna zoom in now. This was a rondelle that decided not to stay together and it cracked. Wow. And that's why you're seeing such large pieces of glass. But I, I did a complete full melt on this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It looks great on a windowsill to catch the daylight. It would look wonderful with the spotlight on it or even lighted from behind or put a, a pillar candle behind it. It has a natural wood base. I did not want to distract from the glass itself with the dark base. So the, the base of it is uh, just a natural blonde wood look. And it's just $40 for this piece. Yeah. The disc itself is t uh, 12 inches wide. Uh -huh. I had to think for a minute. I almost forgot. I made this late last year, I think. Still there. I'm sorry? I can't. It's still there. Uh, this has not been out. I brought this out just for this sale. Y'all are the first people seeing it. Wow. What I really love, though, look at that. It's kind of an opalescent yellow. And no, Becky, it doesn't glow. <laughs> uh, uh, but and it just looks like the sunrise, don't you think? It's a broken rondelle that he fused back together, uh, and it's forty bucks. He saved its life. It, uh, to give you an idea, it looked like this. Dennis made another one. Wow. So that would be a piece that was unbroken. And then I had to go through and pick different shapes and get them fitted. That's the hardest part with this when you want to use uh, complete pieces of glass and not crush them down to frit, is finding pieces that can overlap just a little bit or touch and they make sense. <laughs> yeah. And looks like candy corn i think it looks just like a old a card candy striped hard candy yeah there you go whatever gets it out the door <laughs> whatever gets it out the door uh, that piece is too large for you i do have a smaller version over here this one is 30. this is uh, approximately seven inch round disc Again, it's got the natural wood base, which does come with the piece. And again, you get all those beautiful orange and yellow swirls. Steven, you look like you're living your best life. No, I ain't. <laughs> It's not 30 here. No, just kidding. It's only 10 o'clock. Oh, what do you mean it's only 10 o'clock? Only 10.15. My time. It's 11.15, your time. I don't care about your time. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I only care about my time. 
All right, this is so big I had to use two hands to move it. Uh, if you are not familiar with this, this is a jade bowl. It was made with Mosser jade glass. This is made from an original mold that came out of the Fenton factory from 1959. They had a designer, Michael Lax, create a whole tablescape set where you would have dishes and bowls uh, that would all match. This has what they called a pebbled finish. See how it's a little bumpy? Pebbled finish all the way around. This bowl is two inches wide at the bottom, 10 inches wide at the top, and it is eight inches tall. Uh, how they created such stability with this bowl is the fact that the bottom one inch of the bowl is solid glass. It's a wonderful mid-century modern looking shape. It's a wonderful piece to own. There were only 21 of these made. We had a test run done in different sizes. I have three of these bowls left. They are $55 each. Becky is wanting to see the waves in act. She's dying to see the waves. Sure. I can show you some waves. But any interest in the jade bowls? Do you, do you have any of the ones you made in the lampshades left? Uh, there are the three small ones I would have to. Who, are, who is asking? Hey. I'm sorry, who? It was just me. Oh, uh, there are, I believe, three small ones. Uh, the uh, bowl is six inches tall. And then I do have one of these. This would have to be a torsier, though, I think, unless you had some heavy duty hardware. It's heavy. This this bowl weighs, I think, five pounds. Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely just a salad bowl. <laughs> but it could be done. Now, here is a gorgeous piece. It is blue iridescent glass. It is a flower. We're looking at 20 inch width that was uh, draped into this shape. You can see it's got that beautiful floral center. Bad. And this uh, oversized piece is 95. Again, this is an original mold that is being used here. And it's even bigger than its neighbor, the ribbed bowl. I know these hearts have been popping up everywhere. I've been making them for a while. These are the two and a half inch pocket hearts. However, these are made in jade. I have 16 of them. And to get them out the door, they are $5 each. So Jade Pocket Heart. Oh, these would make a great gift for anybody that loves Jade Art or Jade. There are 16 available, $5 each. Do, 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 do. And then I promise I will show some waves. Surf's up. Because they are monster, these waves. They are big and they are heavy. All right, we will start with wave number one. 
I'm going to have to give you the dimensions in of these in approximation because I I have not measured them. I just know the the basic size they come out. Uh, this particular wave is going to be eight inches wide, ten inches tall at its uh, greatest height. The price on it is six hundred and fifty dollars. All handmade, and the wave that you see, the crested wave portion, is made with crystal frit. Wow. And then we have a larger one here. This one is eight fifty. You sized it. Ugh. But look at that wave is so ready to crash on you. Oh. But look at the beautiful this I love this. This is my favorite part to help with. Uh, when Justin's making these, it is at least two people in the studio, if not three. Uh, more due to the fact that the piece itself is so heavy when it's finished. Uh, this large one probably weighs 13 or 14 pounds. And that's a very heavy, heavy piece to carry. You can see each one has its own shape and its own wave, there really is no way to replicate a size once it's made. Uh, the glass kind of decides how it's going to bend and also the uh, crystal wave portion. Uh, this one here that I'm showing you is 750. There's one here a little bit smaller. And this one, the wave has really bent over you can see that is finished its crest it's getting ready to crash back down into the water this one is priced at 650 uh, but absolutely beautiful waves we do have some flowers down here i did promise you flowers uh, these are hand pulled in our studio using our own uh, frit process. I think the coloring is really pretty. Uh, these all have a burgundy stem and then this wonderful color mix for the flower. Here is one that is done in a transparent yellow kind of like Fenton candle wick and it's got a white stem. These are $20 each or two for 30. And as I said, we, we had mountains of these flowers and they have sold. There are also more flowers up here. We ran out of space. Here's another transparent yellow with white. Uh, this one has kind of a unique frit. It's a, a singular flower. We don't have one to match. And then this is also a singular flower. It has a burgundy stem in this burgundy stem uh, center for the flower. And then a pulled, pulled stem. Jumping on. Beg pardon? I was telling Bonnie, thanks for jumping on. She's talking hi. Ah. Thanks. I, I, for anybody watching, I cannot see what uh, is happening in comments on my phone. Uh, here are cute little cups. Justin calls these his twisty cups. Uh, he makes these in his spare time in between workshops or in between working a piece. There's beautiful cranberry. Uh, these are listed at $20 each, or you can purchase two for $30. And as you can see, some are shorter, like a stemless wine or a cocktail glass. Some are a little bit taller, like a pipe glass. Everybody can name their own glass when you get them, if you buy a collection of them. Do, 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 do. But I'll tell you, this this cranberry is absolutely beautiful. That is beautiful. That really shows off the details of the of the mold twist. Yes. And of course, he makes it so easy to do. I've never been able to do it. I've tried. 
I get too nervous to do something this involved. And, you know, he makes it look like it's just going down to the store for some bread. <laughs> do we have, oh, I did not show one of my blown faces. I didn't show this. Uh, this is a vase that most people are not familiar with. This mold is a release mold. You can see it's got beautiful roses on it. Fenton purchased this mold along with all the other release molds, but it was only blown one time in 1940 in crystal. Uh, it's called Eglantine, which is English rose. And you can see there are a lot of a lot of branches and leaves combined with flowers. It's a beautiful vase. It's eight and a half inches tall and almost seven inches wide. I have these in the studio at 95, but they are on sale for $75. There are two that are in a paler, kind of a mosaic blue you can see there are striations of two different shades of blue and then this one in the center is a midnight blue and it has very uh, shiny metallic looking surface and again it's for sale uh, we're going to take twenty dollars i am going to take twenty dollars off it's 75 Have you seen these ones before, Stephen? I don't think so. Aren't they beautiful? They are. That color is striking. Yeah. Okay. How many would you like? I can make you 10 if you want them. Oh boy, just 10? <laughs> just 10, that's all. Okay. 10 in or out. Show me that show me that purple stemmed pumpkin. What pattern's on that? Oh, this one. This is a it's a holdover. The red rose. 2022. It is a one of one. And it's actually you can kind of see with the light. See that's kind of a burgundy color when you look through it. Yeah. But the surface is metallic silver which makes it almost look blue but it is the um, dragonfly yeah the dragonfly or the moth butterfly whatever you call it well it's actually a moth but when fenton started calling it the grasshopper i have no idea why they called it grasshopper i think they're afraid to call it moth but you can see there's a lovely pattern of grass. And then it's a uh, very nice opaque purple stem. How much? Uh, 75 for this one. And this was for fall of 2020. It's uh, It just appeared out of a box one day. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm going to make some more this fall because it was a lot of fun making these. It's not really pumpkin season. Nobody's in a pumpkin mood. Uh, and this is one other fun vase that I have. Again, it's in that beautiful real pale blue. This is a poppy vase this is a fenton mold Ooh, uh... six and a half inches tall i bless that's so hard for me because i'm reversed i believe this most likely would was designed to be a lamp part yeah. oh, it this could be converted easily to make a lamp. Again, I've done beautiful polished top, as you can see. And then 
for this it's signed but the, i've got the sticker on here uh, but it's signed Emporium 2020 or 2021. I forget what year we made this. Again, it was it got packed away and I forgot about it. But it has the Emporium name on it. And the uh, the name of the vase based on the Fenton name, which is Poppy. That real pretty piece. Real pretty shade of blue, too. It would look wonderful in a window. Or displayed on a table. Did I, I, give, did I give you the price? We'll, right. do, we'll do this uh, at 50, five zero. I believe that's exactly what that was, is that was the font for the student lamp. Student lamp? That doesn't make sense. I was thinking possibly one of those three stacked things. Oh, it's just the piece that had the big shade on top, and then they put that little bitty piece of glass in the middle. Middle and then something on the bottom praying to hold it up. I always think of the circus music when I see those lamps. That's it. Because I'm always afraid they're going to chop them off. There might be a lot of weights on the bottom of those lamps underneath the base. I used to put lamps together. I know, I know the secrets. But yeah, they have to they have to balance the top of the top of the piece with uh, the weight on the bottom so that it doesn't tip over. So here's another look at the Fenton pieces that I currently have in stock. We have not made any in a while. We, the studio was shut down for a month, maybe five weeks in January. Did y'all have an ice storm too? Who? You. <laughs> we don't get ice. The rest, the rest of us was suffering through an ice storm. What in the world is that piece with the red fret on the edge? What are you talking about? That blue bowl with the ruby, with the red. Oh, with the red lip. Ugh. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. It's gorgeous. It is a ruffled bowl. That pretty. What's inside? Uh, a bunch of Jane pebbles that I put hooks on. How much is that bowl? Uh, hold on. If they didn't mark it, I'm going to compare it to. Sorry for moving the camera around so much. You know what? Let's. I'm going to go in the back and ask. Because we're. They're having a show. I'm not sure who made this. This could be a dentist. Dennis! Is this you? How much would you like for this bowl? Somebody's asking. I don't know. You tell me. With all the other bowls. All right, Dennis. I'm not putting him on camera because he has not consented. He's not consented. He did not consent. I don't think any of them are priced anymore. But whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, with the lip wrap, uh, forty-five would be fine if you really like it. Forty-five on that beautiful floppy bowl. Like you've got another piece of uh, Fenton there, right there in front of it, the pink and the yeah. This this is. Fond memories. It's covered up by tape. Uh, this is the small Caprice vase mold. It makes a vase approximately five inches tall. Uh, the color on this, the fruit that we used was spring mix. And this vase would be $35. And again, it's the last one that I have. It I, I discovered a whole box of stuff. 
But you can see that beautiful caprice shell pattern. And we decided to have some fun with it. Along with this piece, I did one where I cut the top off to make it more like a small rose bowl. I thought that looked kind of neat. And then this one is a whimsy. They tried. Oh. Right at the end, they said, oh, let's put some, let's put a rough, blah, ruffle in it. But it was starting to cool off, and the ruffle did not, as you see, it did not form quite as well as we would like it to form. So that one, if somebody wanted it, that's just $20. $20 for the orange whimsy, $25 for the rose bowl, and $25 for the spring mix. Oh, you can make noise, Don. You're alive. They're working on a, a production. Uh, Eighteen. Uh, the guys in the studio. They're doing production for an installation, and that's all I can tell you about it. So they've been working at nights, and they they started I think seven o'clock tonight, and they're still going. Wow. Back there and give us a give us the watching tour uh i will do it on another night i'm not gonna do it tonight <laughs> tonight's not the night to do it plus not this late because they all look like coal miners right now <laughs> all right well i don't see anybody jumping up and down about these uh anything else you want to show us uh i have nothing unless people have something that they want to see okay did anybody see anything you wanted i noticed uh i saw some starfish you didn't offer no that. we can go over to starfish land those uh these starfish are marked twenty dollars each or two for thirty and there's a nice variety, a lot of different sizes. This is probably the biggest one. That's got an eight inch arm span. Uh, but each each one is a little different. Each one has its own color combo. Wow, beautiful. That one looks like he's dancing. Yeah, it does. Well, you can tell they're handmade. Yeah. The beauty of hand pulled glass. These were made in the studio. Various instructors that work here. I haven't shown your rondelles yet. Did you want to talk about them? I showed your snails. They thought they were very pretty. All right, we're going to walk over to some other ah, starfish. And because we have a whole other shelf of them when we come right here to the edge. Wow. What do you call a herd of starfish? Because that's what you've got. I'm sorry? What do you call a herd of starfish? Because that's what you've got. I don't know. What do you call a herd of starfish? Well, I, I think you call them $20 each and two for 30 Hey, Caden said you call them a galaxy. A galaxy. Well, that makes sense. Uh, anyway, any interest in any of the starfish? Anybody. 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 And it's been a little over an hour and a half. I think we're going to wrap things up for tonight. It was a great intro. I'm going to get busy and make even more stuff for the next sale. All right. We'll, we'll let you do that for sure. It is hard when it's somebody new and you don't know what's coming up and you want to look at everything. If you do rewatch this and want to contact me, you can see the email address. It's exclusive design by Emporium at Outlook.com. Uh, just email me and ask me if the piece is still available. I'm happy to sell it to you. Yes. But if that is all, we will call it a night. All right. Well, let me swap us back to uh side-by-side -side layout here and we'll 
I'll even switch myself. Now, Becky, you're trying to start a fight. She is. She said, but do any of the stars glow? Only in your eyes, my dear. Only in your eyes. <laughs> she is trying. That's right. I appreciate right. so for that. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, giving us the grand tour, and we sold a few things, and I'll let you know what those few things were after we're done. Um, but yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you coming on tonight. Um, we will be, I will be with uh, Becky tomorrow night, and I will have the John Walk, author of nine Fenton books with me tomorrow. So that'll be amazing. Don't you know? All Caden says, all by my lonesome. <laughs> but that is fine by me. We will have a ball and a half over on Becky's page, Vintage Viking Treasures. And I uh, time I will pop in. Oh, that sounds great. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Y'all have a great night. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.